Hello everybody, it's Luke here, and today, and for this video, I'm going to give you, I'm going to show you guys what I do when I record with Bandicam. So, it's quite simple really, and as you will have noticed, for this um, tutorial, oh, well, not a tutorial, but for this particular video, um, I do not have my face in it. And that's because, well, I mean, it's not like it's going to be a future gameplay video. It's simply just a how it's, I'm simply just showing you guys what I do when I record with the program. But I promise you, I will um, have my face in um, all gameplay videos to come because I think um, that should help. But anyway, on to how I record with Bandicam. So it's quite simple, really, for... Uh, gameplay videos, I simply click on the controller icon, and then if you have the controller clicked, it will, underneath, um, I'm not sure which tab it is, I can't remember which tab, but under what, um, I want to say it's video, I'm not quite sure, oh no 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 no, I think it will say something about, like, FPS, overlay or something like that um it will say about like fps overlay and then you can choose i believe you can choose where you want it i personally have the because the thing is you need the frame rate thing active in order to record new gameplay videos um to record new gameplay otherwise it just doesn't really work um it doesn't work all you um all you'll see is just a green set of numbers. So if you haven't recorded any gameplay footage and you think that's how you do it, um, that's not actually, um, well, that's not how you do it, just a little heads up, but I'm um, getting sidetracked. Um, so with, in terms of when I record, it's quite simple. I just, um, when I have the, when I am recording uh, gameplay, I will obviously have the controller icon clicked, um, and what I'll do from there is obviously get the um, FPS up. Well, in fact, the frame rate program, the frame rate thing, um, the frame rate numbers, they will pop up wherever you decided to put them on your screen when you're using this particular program. Um, and if you go under the desktop option and go under video, as you can see, there is a record stop hotkey option. So basically, um, you can have a key assigned uh, from your keyboard to do it. Um, but make sure you have this option checked, otherwise you won't be able to have the um, hotkey option. And, but if you have it, if you have it ticked, then you'll be able to assign any um, of the keys on your keyboard to uh, um, how you wish them to be. Um, so that, so that's just for recording videos. Now on to how I record my face and how I record the um, my voice. Now, so it's quite simple. Um, what you'd have to do, what you have to do if you want to have your face in the videos is that you need to tick, you tick um, add webcam overlay and then you go into settings. Now as you'll see, um, all of the options are greyed out. Um, well at least at this point because as I said this is just more of a um, how to, or I'm just showing you guys what I do. Um, with the videos when I record with the program so and that's why I don't have my face in it that's why I don't have my face in it but chances are say if I'm just doing a vlog type video I will probably have the thing at full size like I'll have the webcam at full size um, at the highest si size it can go to and then just have the um, and then just have it positioned directly in the middle because all of the dots you see on here, they're for the position that you have your webcam in. If you have your webcam in, if you are using the webcam. So that's for my face. For my voice, if you do the same thing, go under video, 
um, with the desktop or the frame option checked with the timer going, as you'll see, um, if you go into, if you click on settings, if you go into recording settings and then you go into sound, you will see secondary sound device <clears throat> um, and I have it set to speakers in order to record my voice. I believe that's how, I believe that's how it's that, mm, uh, I believe that's how I believe if you have the secondary sound device equipped speakers, then you, um, that's how you can record your voice as well. Um, and my face and my voice you will hear in all future videos to be uploaded with, um, or recorded using Bandicam. So anyway, guys, I hope you found this helpful. Um, this is primarily for Tate, aka Acid Monkeys. Here on YouTube, I will leave a link to his channel below. Um, and the reason why I actually did this tutorial is because he asked me how I record, and I said to him that I would show, um, I would give you guys an idea of the, of my record setup in a different video, this video being the one of course. Um, and, yep, I hope you guys found this little uh, tip it helpful, this video helpful, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.